the images you're seeing are real. Eyes that have changed color or developed irritation and darkening around the lids. All of these happened after using lash or brow serums, whose formulas contain prostaglandin analogs, compounds very similar to prescription eye medications. These ingredients were originally designed to treat glaucoma, but later found their way into cosmetics because of a side effect, stimulating lash growth. And scientifically, yes, it's proven. These compounds keep the hair follicles in the active growth phase, the antigen phase, longer, which makes lashes appear longer and thicker. But here's the issue. The side effects are just as powerful as the benefits. From permanent changes in iris color to fat loss around the eyes, causing hollowing and an aged look, and irritation of the delicate eyelid skin. Chemically, these compounds are drugs, not cosmetic ingredients. That's why many experts argue that the FDA should reclassify them from OTC cosmetics to prescription drugs. Multiple scientific papers, including this review in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology, have clearly shown that prostaglandin analogs can trigger inflammatory reactions, pigmentation changes, and significant allergic responses. So a wiser choice is to go for peptide-based serums instead. They may act more slowly, but they come with far lower risks of irritation and ocular side effects. If you're enjoying this video so far and find it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps and motivates us to keep creating more science-based and useful content for you. Next, let's talk about dip nail kits, the ones that use a colored powder and a bonding liquid before you dip your nails in. That bonding liquid usually contains cyanoacrylates, the same family of chemicals used in superglue. Cyanoacrylates are powerful adhesives because they react quickly with moisture to form a hard, durable coating. But this same chemical reaction can also cause strong allergic and respiratory reactions, especially when the vapors are inhaled or when the product touches the skin. If you check the material safety data sheet for cyanoacrylates, you'll see that they're classified as hazardous substances due to their potential to irritate the eyes, skin, and lungs. When you use these dip kits at home, those vapors don't just disappear, they can linger in the air and irritate your respiratory tract. Some users even report what's called dip flu, fatigue, headaches, and body aches caused by inhaling the fumes. So instead of dip powder systems, it's much safer to use gel polishes or even traditional nail lacquers. Gels require UV curing, but when used properly and from reputable brands, they release far fewer volatile chemicals. And of course, classic nail polish, though less long-lasting, remains the lowest risk option for most people. The third product we should be cautious about is gel nail polish removers. Many of these removers contain dichloromethane, a volatile chemical solvent also known as methylene chloride. Dichloromethane is highly effective at breaking down tough gel layers, which is why it's used in industrial paint strippers and cleaning agents. But that same strength comes with serious risks. It can cause headaches, dizziness, respiratory irritation, and in high concentrations even affect the central nervous system. Because of these health hazards, dichloromethane has been restricted or banned in cosmetic products in several countries, including within the European Union. So instead of using removers that rely on harsh solvents like dichloromethane, it's safer to use acetone-based removers or soaking methods designed for gel polish removal. A group of products that you should be very cautious with are those sold on platforms like AliExpress, Tmall, and similar sites. These platforms lack the strict regulatory oversight found in the European Union, the US, or Canada. Because of this, there is a high likelihood that these products may contain hazardous ingredients. That's why it's generally safer to avoid using them. For example, it has been found that some products sold on these sites at very low prices contain high amounts of dioxane or methanol, both of which are hazardous chemicals that can pose serious health risks to users. The next category is products that claim to use plant-based or herbal ingredients and are marketed as organic. For example, in this turmeric mousse, which is widely advertised, a study has shown that topical use of these compounds does not produce the effects claimed. The effectiveness of organic products depends on the dose of the active ingredient and the formulation, which can make such marketing misleading. Other products that should be used with caution are those containing the chemical DMDM. This chemical can release formaldehyde through chemical reactions, which can pose serious risks, as formaldehyde is a hazardous and highly allergenic substance. 
For this reason, it is important to be very careful when using shampoos or other products that contain these chemical compounds. The next product is teeth whitening kits. These kits usually contain hydrogen peroxide at concentrations over 6%. The hydrogen peroxide in these at-home kits can cause tooth sensitivity, enamel erosion, irritation of the gums and tongue, and even discoloration of the tongue surface. It is better to use teeth whitening products that contain the newer PAP, thalimidoperoxycaproic acid, compounds, which are safer and gentler. The last product we review in this video is keratin treatment products. As you probably know, keratin treatments contain compounds like glycols, which can release formaldehyde when exposed to heat, and these fumes are highly dangerous. What many people might not realize is that even some keratin treatments labeled as formaldehyde-free may contain compounds that release formaldehyde when heated with a flat iron or blow dryer. So don't be misled by formaldehyde-free claims in advertising. Always check for ingredients that could release formaldehyde during use. Have you tried any of these products? Tell us in the comments! And don't forget to like and subscribe for more beauty science